what is that on your shirt? Let me ask you. What, what, what character is that? What is it? Yeah, but I'm saying like, what is it from like a cartoon? What is it? What is it? Superhero. Why is it that you? Why you think you gravitate towards something like that? Who would make you pick up a shirt like that? And say, this cool. I'm gonna rock that. Look awesome because he got powers. Like got like powers, right? It's something in your spirit that led you to pick that up. I'm gonna show you something. Give me Psalms 82. I'm gonna show you something, bro. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna show you out of the Bible that you actually more powerful than what you think you are. Watch this. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are gods. What you say your name was again? Quinn. Qu Quinn? Say, read it again for Quinn. I have said, ye are gods. You see what I'm saying? These characters that you, you see on TV, the, the cartoons, your X-Men, your Dragon Ball Z, that all come from the Bible. Right, the Most High right. God said what? Ye are gods. He said ye, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indian. We are the gods on the earth. Yeah, right, right. And I'm going to prove it. Give me that again. Psalms, um, we, we dealt with only Jacob. Give me that in um, Psalms um, 147. 147. I'm going to show you something, brother. That information you got in your hand is one of the most important things you're probably going to receive ever. And I'm going to show you why. Watch this. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Uh -huh. He showed this word unto Jacob. Now, I'm going to give you a little history about the Bible. Jacob is our forefather, right? Who name was changed to Israel after he wrestled with the angel. Watch this, read. He showed this word unto Jacob. He showed this Bible to our forefather, Jacob, to the nation of Israel. That's it. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He read. has not dealt so with any other nation. He didn't deal with the other nations. You look on this sign, you're going to see 12 tribes. This is who he dealt with. If they're not on this sign, he didn't deal with them. That's right. right. But why is it when you look on TV, you see all the other nations portraying to be gods right. with superpower? Read it again for him. I want you to think about that, though. Read. He has not dealt so with any nation. You see what I'm saying? He didn't deal with the other nations. But it's something in your spirit that led you to say, this church cool, I'm going to pick this up. Because you are a god. Right. You understand? Brother Quinn, you are god. That's right. God said so. Read on. As for his judgments, uh -huh. they have not known them. As for the judgment, the other nations don't know the judgments. They have not known them. The Bible wasn't given to them. This is your history book. Right. Do you understand? When you open this book up, you're supposed to see yourself in it. Right. This is like your photo album. Right. All right. Let me ask you a question because you're looking kind of like this is new to you. What would you say? What, what Christ looked like? What you was taught though? When you when you think of Jesus Christ, what? What what he look like in your mind? Dreadlocks? What type of skin? Brown? So why is it that they portray him to be white? When you turn on uh, movies like uh, Moses or uh, the Ten Commandments, Pastor of the Christ. You ever ask yourself that question? Brother, we've been robbed and spoiled. And I'm trying to tell you, you are God on this earth. Right. Look at this image right here. Which one you, you would say is closer to the, the uh, depiction that you got in your mind? What do you put? Okay. Wait, man. That, so that, that's why I asked you the question. So that, that, to you, that's what Christ looked like, right? Because that's what you was taught, correct? I'm going to show you in the Bible what he really looked like. That's right. Give me Revelations. Start at verse 1. Start at verse 1. The book of Revelations, the root word is to reveal. Remember that. The book of Revelation, the root word of Revelation is to reveal. I'm about to reveal to you, out of the Bible, what Christ really looked like. Read. The book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Now remember, you said he looked like that, right? Let's see. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto the servants things which must shortly come to pass. To show unto who? The servants. Uh -huh. things we, which we the servants. We finna show you. Watch this. Read. Things which must shortly come to pass. Uh -huh. He sent and signified it. By his angel unto his servant John. Now watch it. Let's get straight to the point. Uh, give me verse um, what's it, 10. 10. And I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So this is John the Revelator. He said he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. The Lord's day is the Sabbath. That will be today. The seventh day of the week is the Sabbath. The Lord's day. Read. And I heard behind me a he, great voice. He heard behind him a great voice. Like if somebody was talking loud behind you. What's going to be your reaction? To turn around and look, right? 
Watch this. Read. As a as of a trumpet. Saying, as of a trumpet. Meaning his voice was loud. Christ spoke loud. Read. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. What did he say? I am Alpha and Omega. Imagine you you having a conversation with somebody and you hear a deep voice say, I am Alpha and Omega. You're gonna turn around like who is this? Read. The first and the last. Uh huh. And what thou seest. What you what? Seest. What you see with your own eyes. Read. Write in a book. Meaning documented, recorded. Write it in the book. So now, John the Revelator is going to document what he saw. Read. 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So he turned around to see this deep voice that spoke. Read. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. You see on the back of this brother's garment right here? No, this brother right here. What? Read. He saw what? Seven golden candlesticks. That's called a menorah. That's what he saw, right? Teach. Read. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. So in the midst of the, the candlesticks, he saw what? One like unto the Son of Man. He saw one like unto the Son of Man. I mean, he saw a person. He saw Christ. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Notice you see the garments these brothers have, right? His garment was down to his foot. Read. Girded about with paps of gold girdle. He had a gold belt. See this belt? It was gold. Read. His head and his hair were white like wool. Read that again. His head. His head. And his hair. And his hair were white like wool. It was white like wool. Who on the earth today has woolly texture hair? Who? Black people, so-called blacks, right? That's right. Hispanics, Native Indians. Watch this. Read. As white as snow. Uh-huh. And his eyes. Why is a flame of fire? His eyes were a flame of fire, meaning his the, the whites of his eyes was red. Why was they red? Because he drank wine. Right. He was he drank it in moderation though. Right. All right. Read on. And his feet. His what? His feet. Because in that day, Christ walked around with open toe sandals, so you was able to see his feet as well. Watch this. Read. Like unto fine brass. Uh huh. As if they burn in a furnace. So if you take brass, what color is brass? Like a brown, right? If you take brass and you burn it in a furnace, what color would it be then? What you say, sis? Brown. If you take some uh, brass, which is brown, and you burn that in a in a furnace, what color would it be then? It'd be silver. It'd be Read it again. Watch this. And his feet, like a fine brass. His feet. When he, John Revelant later looked down at his feet, he said his feet was like fine brass. What color is brass? Brass is a derivative of brown. Brass, right? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you take something that's already brown, brownish, and you burn it, what color would it be then? Black. So if Christ's feet was black, what color was his arms? What color was his neck? His face. Christ, the black messiah, from, he's a black man. It it's plain up. and simple. So we no longer gonna be um, defiled and tricked with these lies. Right. For the record, this is not Jesus the Christ. Right. This is a, this is an imposter. All right. Bring it his, up. his real name is Caesar Borgia. That's right. All right. It's the he, he's the Pope son, Alexander the Sixth. That's his son. Now we just described to you what Christ looked like in the Bible. Did you know that all the prophets are black? That's Let's get most. Let's get Moses. Because we gotta we gotta start with the basics. The reason why we lost today because we fell away from the, the basics. Right. Like today. What's today, sis? Saturday. Saturday. According to the Bible, this today will be the Lord's Day. Bring it out. Sabbath day. Right. Why do we go to church on Sunday? Who who started that though? Is that in the Bible? No. No. You see what I'm saying? So we're gonna show y'all the basics. But for the record, all the prophets are black. Watch this, read. And the Lord furthermore unto him, put thy hand into thy bosom. So the Lord was showing Moses some signs, right? He told him, put your hand into your, your bosom, into your garment like this. So he took his hand, put it in his bosom, right? Read. And he put his hand into his bosom. Uh -huh. And when he took it out, it became, his hand was leprous as snow. So when he took it out, his hand was leprous as snow, meaning it was white. No pigmentation, right? Watch this, read. And he said, Put thy hand into thy bosom again. Say, put it back in there. So, read. And he put his hand into his bosom again uh -huh. and plucked it out. Say, 
of his of his bosom. In behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. So it was turned again as his other flesh. What color was that? Dark skin. Moses was black. Let's get uh let's get uh, Solomon. Watch this. We gotta show y'all because I know a lot of times when y'all pick up the Bible, y'all think y'all reading about white characters. No. This is your photo album. That's right. This is your history book. That's right. This what the, you're not gonna learn this in a Sunday school or a Sunday church. That's why we come to y'all. Watch this. The book of Song of Solomon, chapter one and verse five. I am black. What did he say? I am black. King Solomon telling you at his own with his own words, he's what? I am black, but comely. But handsome. I am black and handsome. We talking about King Solomon now. Let's get Joe. Let's get the prophet Joe. We can go through this all day. I'm trying to get y'all mind back right where it's supposed to be. Because I'm gonna tell y'all something. Whether you know whether you want to keep these laws, whether you're gonna keep these laws or you're not, if you don't keep these laws, you got a, a missile with your name on it. Right. We're in the last days, brothers and sisters. America is gonna be destroyed by nuclear fire. Bring it out. Prophet um, Noah, he taught the people for a hundred years, they didn't listen. That's why I was only eight of them saved. Right. You understand? That number was small. Didn't, nobody want to listen. It ain't no coincidence that you, you humbled down and came over here as well as you. The Lord trying to show y'all something. Give me this real quick. Job chapter 30 and verse 30. Uh -huh. yeah. My skin is black upon me uh -huh. and my bones are burned with heat. What did Job say? My skin is black upon me. Job said, my skin is black. There is no white character. This Bible is our history book, all right? right. Give me Romans 13 11 real quick. Because, it's no, again, it's no coincidence that y'all stopped over here. I got to tell y'all, America's going to be destroyed by nuclear fire. That's prophesied in the Bible, all right? I gave y'all a little depiction of how Christ looked, Job, King Solomon. Now I got to show y'all that it's high time to wake up, all right? We're not out here to play games. None of that. We're here to give y'all warning. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth